It's called the Mono, and it's amazing. The engine may be from a Ford people carrier, but it's been fettled by Cosworth. So now it produces 280 horsepower. And fitting a 280 horsepower heart in a car which weighs just half a ton is, well, the effects are going to be profound. takes just 2.8 seconds. And in theory, the top speed is 170. But in reality, it isn't, because the Mono has the same problem as the Aereo Atom. No windscreen. At 70 miles an hour, your face starts to move about. And then when you get to 80, it starts to come off. At 90, you're forced to accept that, really, you need a helmet. With a lid on, you can start to appreciate just how clever this car is. First of all, I fit. I mean, only just, but I do actually fit. Even though it has Formula One style pushrod suspension, the ride is sublime. You can almost call it comfortable. Although that said, at high revs, everything starts to tingle and vibrate. I don't want to go into too many details, but let me put it this way. If I were a girl, I'd like it very much. Strangely, even cross-eyed women can drive this car legally on the road. But realistically, it's built for the track. So, let's see what's what. It's not really about straight-line speed. It doesn't actually feel that fast. To it, it's not that scary either. If I'm honest, it's not really like driving this. It's like I'm conducting an orchestra of, of parts that know exactly what they're doing. They're very well rehearsed. There goes the French horns, and here are the violins. Brakes, yep, they're good. Gearbox is fantastic. It really is an absolutely instant change. It's bang, 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 ready? And there's more. Because all the heavy stuff, the engine, the gearbox and the driver is all in a line, low down in the middle of the car, it has the same centre of gravity as a worm. Couple that to the F1 suspension and the specially made tyres and the cornering speeds are simply immense. To demonstrate how immense, we've set up a radar trap on the follow-through and coming through it now as fast as possible is a Peugeot 208. Three and a half miles an hour. Then it was the turn of a BMW M3. Ooh, now look at that, 90.25 miles an hour. After a Nissan GTR had a go, we unleashed the Mono. See my point? It is very fast then, and it's fun. But what about reliability? Traditionally, not a strong point for small volume British sports cars. 
The first time I drove a mono, it set fire to itself. The second time, the engine went wonky, and the third time, it broke down before it had even left the factory. So I thought of it really as another typically British, badly executed, good idea. But since all those calamities, they've had 12 months to work on the design and the detailing, and I have to say it looks not just very well thought out, but absolutely beautifully made. And it's not just the detailing that's beautiful either. When you stand back, that's one of the most exciting shapes I've ever seen. The mono is the nicest thing to come out of Cheshire since the cheese. But it does cost £102,000, and that for a twice a year toy is a lot. In many ways, then, this is a bit like an iPad, because that's not cheap either, and you certainly don't need one. But you want one, because it's such a lovely thing. <laughs> 